Hey guys, uh, a number of you had asked how I had connected Beaver Themer with Sermon Manager and how to create kind of a dynamic template to display single sermons uh, within a site that has uh, Sermon Manager as the back end for the Sermons plugin. So this is a uh, staging site for my church that I'm building, and this is almost there. I haven't finished it, but this is a pretty good start on the layout that I have for a single sermon. So you can see that I've got the post, I've got the speaker, I've got the date, and I've got some Beaver Builder pieces. They've got a description, featured image, and then I've got a bunch of this data, the book, the scripture, the service type, uh, the series, the theme. If I scroll down a little bit more, I've got the default footer, which I haven't finished yet. Let's put that up there because it's ugly. Um, I've got a, a download sermon audio button, download sermon notes button, and then here's an accordion. And then what I've done is I've put this accordion, which is basically to say, hey, if, you, if I used a sermon slides, uh, then I want you to put it here and you can click on it there. And so that would be, this is just a SlideShare uh, embed that you get, uh, code that you get from SlideShare. So don't, don't always have them, so I put it hidden underneath there and if, if people want to see it. So, um, and then this guy here is just kind of the next uh, and, and previous, the next over here in previous sermons. So how did I build this? Um, so what I've got here, so you have to have, this is assuming you have the plugin Sermon Manager uh, by WP for Church. And this is, if you do, a single sermon on the back end looks like this. So this is an example, the same one here um, <clears throat> called Good Shepherds uh, is I'm looking at back here. So I've got the title date, service type, all this, all the details you would expect to see for an individual sermon. You got description, and then over here, this is all the um, the metadata that comes from Sermon Manager itself. So you got speakers, series, topics, and see all these have already been inputted. So that's why they're they're right there. And then you have the uh, the link for the MP3 for the recorded the audio recording. And then down here, they have this video embed code box. We don't video record sermons, but what we do is we use this box for the code that you get from SlideShare. So what we do is we export um, a keynote presentation that we use to teach with uh, to PDF, upload it to SlideShare, create a little SlideShare uh, slideshow, and embed the code right here. So that's, that's kind of how we do that. Um, sometimes if we do have notes as well, that goes down here in this field. So standard stuff, right? Just fields and, and these metadata settings. So how do you pull them in? So we can see I've got, I've got all of these. Every single one of these is dynamic. None of these are... Um, <clears throat> are hand coded. So what I did is I went over here and I created a theme layout. So this is the name of mine, right? And so you have to make sure that you create a singular one and then you obviously assign the post type for sermon and you can put it for all sermons or or few or whatever. But if you want a standard template, just, just make sure you choose singular post type when you create a new theme layout. So you go theme layouts, create a singular, and then um, and then here. And so um, I've just kind of pre-organized the tabs so you don't have to watch me open tabs. But this is what it looks like Live. So here in the singular layout in, in, in Beaver Builder, you already get the standard stuff. So for example, I'm just gonna walk from top to bottom here. This is just the basic post title. So you're already you're already good with this one. Uh, this one here, uh, you can see over here. So that's that's the regular post title. This one here is the speaker. And what I did here for this one is I is I went over and, and selected the taxonomy. So if you click this little guy here, you can see that I chose um, there's a taxonomy option, and you just choose speakers. And all of this is populated from Sermon Manager. It's a great plugin. So here I just said basically uh, this is where I want the speaker to show up. And so you just pick speakers right there, and that, then the speaker for this single will show up there. Uh, same with the date. Date obviously is automatically populated by the single plugin or the single template. This is the description. So anything that you put. Uh, uh, oops, not right there. Anything you put right here, uh, I have I have being pulled into not that one in, into right here. And so this one, if you click that, that <coughs> uses a, a special thing that that I had to figure out how to handle. So there's a couple things in Sermon Manager that are not automatically populated. Um, from the post terms list, like this one is, this isn't automatically populated. I had to go figure out how to do it. And so I contacted them. They were super helpful. And the way you get this is with this, basically this field key. So you have this, so, so all of these fields in the back end here have a field key, which is cool. And the way uh, that, you, that you learn what to do have is over here in this, uh, I'll put this link in the notes, but this is a, a w, on WP for Church, this is their short codes list. And so you've got how to do all kinds of short codes, a lot of great stuff here, but the really important section for me, at least doing this, was this part right here. These are all these field keys of specific um, uh, bits of data that you can grab and put into Beaver Themer. So how did I do that? So back to here, I took this uh, 
this description. And then I basically did, I just did this uh, Beaver Themer short code and I did uh, the post and you do, you do a custom underscore field and the key is the sermon description. And so I'm getting that right from here. The sermon description, I think it's here somewhere. I don't know where I found it, but it works. Uh, it's probably on this page somewhere. You don't need to look me, watch me going through it. So, so that's how that is getting pulled in. So you got all this stuff automatically, and then you just add, automatically add this, this um, Beaver theme or short code, and then you put in the field keys from Sermon Manager to pull in uh, the data from those fields. Easy peasy. So this is the, uh, the featured image for the sermon, and then I got all these down here. I'll get to the audio in a second. Uh, but I've got the book, main scripture, all this stuff. So you can see the book is a... Uh, is a, again another another uh, taxonomy. So the taxonomies are easy because the list is already right there. You just pick which one you want. So you can you click right there. It's got Bible books. Uh, whatever the Bible book for this sermon is is what I want to show here. Uh, main scripture is not a taxonomy. It's another one that you need this uh, field key short code, and you get that right from there. And everything else is just taxonomy. Taxonomy. Uh, all of these are the same thing. So. So that's how I did all that. Uh, for the audio and the notes, it's the same idea. So if you click here, um, this guy here was a uh, was a custom field, post custom field, and this one is had had the, the field key of sermon audio. So to get the the sermon audio box, which was this one right there, uh, location of MP3, you just basically put in uh, the short code. Um, I don't need that anymore. Let's move it over there. Uh, you put in the short code here uh, of just the sermon key, which is uh, sermon audio, and you just create a button, and then um, under the post custom field, uh, that will that will pull that in, and then <clears throat> same thing here for the notes, uh, post custom field. Just click right there, just put the field key right in there, and you are good to go. So that's how that's how I did that. All these things are are pretty cool from uh, from all these plugins that they connect so well. And then this guy right here is just an accordion, whatever, you know how to, you know how to use that. Um, just basically put put this in here. And then there, this is where I put a, um, a short code that I had made, I think. And uh, this is where I need to check something. Um, but I've got this one right here, where it's a couple short codes that I had to make myself. So let me come back to these in a second. And these, these are how I got the audio. Uh, into there in the video. Um, <clears throat> now I'll explain those in a second. So um, that that should be making sense hopefully by now. The couple the couple key things that I wanted to just make sure that I had I had done. Some of you are going to have video, and some of you have notes and slides. Uh, you can basically get all that in with um, <clears throat> with these with these short codes. Now this is a short code that I had made. So this is not a cut. This is not a one you're going to find from here. This was code that I had got from uh, the people at Sermon Manager to to figure out how to pull pull this in. And so um, <clears throat> if I click back on this guy right here, Themer Sermon Audio. So this was something I made. So let me show you a link to GitHub where I, the code that creates this short code is what I am using to make this happen. Because if you don't use this, you get the, the, the simple, boring, ugly uh, audio player. But what I did is I, is I made this short code, and this is the one that allows the audio player to be added on single sermons. So there's the short code right there, Themer Sermon Audio. And this code here basically takes the Sermon Audio field key from um, the from sermon manager and and creates this short code out of it. Okay, so you're going to need this code here in your functions.php file to get this particular thing to work, where it renders this nice uh, looking audio player instead of the the simple looking one. So that's that's there. And then once you once you go to functions and you put this code here in your functions file, then you need to take the short code that you make and you've got to go put it over in your template. So that is, um, that's what's happening here. So this is just a text editor with this code that I made put in right there and it renders like this and it connects to whatever audio file you have in the sermon. So um, same thing here. So that's, that should be cool. So, and I think these two are, um, I already got one over these, so so these should be good. So I think that gets you pretty far enough. I've been rambling long enough. I'm going to save this and be done. But got any other questions? Hit me up uh, in the Beaver Builder Facebook group, and I hope it helps. Thanks.